Okay, picture a cell phone and an email machine all in one thing. There is a free wireless internet signal all across North America and nobody has figured out how to use it. It's like the force. Sorry, have you seen Star Wars? No. <laughs> Matt Johnson and the Jay Baruchel. He's sketchy. I don't think he's sketchy. The guy's a shark. I know how to market it, and I know who we can sell it to. But I want 50% of the company, and I've got to be CEO. I don't know who you think you are, but deal. Are you joking? Look at the head. <laughs> we are in a race to get this thing to market, and we are a year behind. I need a prototype. I'll do it perfectly, or I, I don't do it. Mike, are you familiar with the saying, perfect is the enemy of good? Well, good enough is the enemy of humanity. What do you call it? It's called a Blackberry. Huh. Try typing with your thumbs. Classics. Get this baby in the hands of every Fortune 500 executive you could find. We call them Crackberries. They were huge back then. Serious, Doug, come with us, sir. No. You want to be great, you need to sacrifice. And the more painful the sacrifice, the greater you'll be. If we put more phones on these networks, they're going to crash. Is this legal? You need to sell a million Blackberries. Uh, oh. It's like Jobs, the Steve Jobs movie. We're in the middle of a hostile takeover! Do you know what the sentence is for multi-million dollar stock fraud? What are you doing? I'm doing it all. You guys have no idea how to run a company. What's happening, man? I created this entire market. You said they were the best engineers in the world. I said they're the best engineers in Canada. <laughs> what are they paying you? I shouldn't say. They're paying me $10 million. Yeah, me too. <laughs> no, they're not. So Matt Johnson has basically created this film called Blackberry. And Blackberry, when I was going through school, it was top of the line sort of um, technologies before the iPhones came out back in 2007, I think. Uh, Blackberries just took the world by storm. Everyone was using it in school. Uh, everyone had a BBM. And instead of, you know, when you pick up girls, for example, instead of saying, what's your number? They say, what's your pin? What's your BB pin? <laughs> uh, and it was revolutionary. You had so many different types of Blackberries and it was just the biggest thing. And Matt Johnson is also starring in this. Alongside Jay Baruchel as well. Jay Baruchel is a great uh, comedian. I, love, I like his movies. He's in quite a few early 2000s or mid 2000s rom coms as well. Um, you should check him with some of his movies at. Um, but yeah, this is, looks like a satire take of what actually happened uh, at the Blackberry HQ in Canada. I think during the year 2010 or something like that, during the um, the peak years of Blackberry, they had 43% of the market in terms of phones and devices. But six years following that, they had 0%. It, they literally became extinct because they didn't follow up with the times. Apple came out with Steve Jobs uh, with the iPhone and then the iPhone 3G, then the 3GS. And then, you know, it just became revolutionary revolutionary because they followed up with the times instead of having a phone which you have actual uh, buttons on it you actually have a touch screen instead and it revolutionized everything and that's why they become bankrupt because they didn't uh, follow or look at the trends that were happening at that time yeah i really like the way this looks this reminds me of the two movies uh, about the same person so steve jobs two movies that came out one in 2015 and one in 2013 so 2013 film starred ashton kutcher and it was an independent film called uh, jobs and the two 2015 film uh, starred um, Michael Fassbender and it was actually directed by Danny Boyle and the screenplay was written by Aaron Sorkin and if you know Aaron Sorkin he is a phenomenal screenwriter if you recognize some of his work for example Social Network is one of them it's very hard for um, films to go at that level the 2015 Steve Jobs movie was amazing i love the acting the screenplay was fantastic and um yeah it's just it just this just seems like a satire version of what those films were but it's trying to give a realistic take on it so it's very uh, it's uh, it looks pretty cool i think it was released in film festivals last year it's going to be released this year now in multiplex cinemas i am looking forward to it um i like the way it looks you got the mixture between comedy and reality i like that um yeah i'm looking forward to it hope you like the video hope you like the reaction like share subscribe and comment let me know what you think and hopefully i get to see you in my next video